Hello, this is Lynn talking for Astrophony International Astrology Network and Perceptivity.co.uk, home of metaphysical astrology. And this is the overview for Scorpio Sun from September 2015 right to the end of the year 2015. Scorpio Sun is from the 24th of October to the 22nd of November. So the planet Saturn is finally due to leave your sign in the middle of September. It has wreaked some havoc and some drastic and difficult situations over the past two and a half years. It's true that it firstly left your sign in January and entered Sagittarius until June. And this period showed the possibilities of a profound kind within new movement, perhaps even to be considered extreme. Please see our video and our blog, Saturn Moving Through Sagittarius. However, these extremes can be avoided, whatever form they may take, if the months between June and September are seen as a new look at an old problem or a window of opportunity to release what isn't needed and may just be now so tiresomely heavy that it's anchoring you to a place and a definition of, of self that you detest. There's little doubt that this widening of your personal boundaries is allied to your earning capacity or your feelings about wealth in some other way. And to say that you must be shrewd is the understatement of the decade. You need to be so perceptive at times throughout the next two or so years that it will feel like genius if you pull it up. Why? Because it's a double-edged sword. The developments and monetary planning either take root or they die in the soil. There is seldom any halfway measures with Saturn Sagittarius, as mentioned before, this combination loves extremes. But these polarities we call extremes only appear when we have divided or conflicted opinion and when we are forced to split our loyalties or our thinking. Food for thought, perhaps. So examine now where you might be going and for what reason and with whom before Saturn Sagittarius makes a full-on square with Neptune Pisces in November. This will bring not only the highlighting of the conflict between love and money, or passion and necessity, but will create the need for careful, careful compromise like never before. Compromise is not capitulation, remember, but requires much reconciling of the opposing and demanding parties and factors making up the total equation. Now that Jupiter is in Virgo and has left the other fixed and often dramatic sign of Leo, your inclinations to being the defender of your world or the dominant presence in some way is lessened. You can now look honestly and openly at the results of the campaigns you've waged and what they have resulted in, in terms of the effects on your overall lifestyle and what can be derived from this or the potential it offers. If there is lack in this department, then it's down to what the Saturn-Neptune square is telling you about the need to be more practical or less accommodating to the wrong people in the wrong ways. The Jupiter opposition from Virgo to Neptune in September and the first part of October should give illustri illustration of it. If not, then you have to let the two heavier planets, Neptune and Saturn, go head to head in November and December and see which comes out on top or whether the compromise we mentioned is at all possible. Join us in the new year for the next update. And if you would like more information about the astro astrology service I offer, then please, whether this is general astrology or personal or career or business, then please visit www.perceptivity.co.uk for more information. Thank you.